Are you feeling overwhelmed in marketing your business? If so, you'll definitely want to sign up for my free live masterclass, The Digital Marketing Success Path, where I'm going to dig into seven powerful short and long-term digital marketing strategies that you can implement into your business today to get more customers. Even if you feel like you lack the necessary skills, time, or know-how, so please, please do sign up. I'm excited to talk more about how you really need to get to know your audience, analyze your competition, implement these seven short and long-term strategies, and get that overall marketing funnel launched. So join me at jennylion.com forward slash masterclass, and let's dig into setting you up for digital marketing success. Creating a lead magnet is a great way to generate leads for your business. And if you've been in business any amount of time, you probably already know this. So it's not like I'm revealing some big hidden secret. You know, however, choosing the right lead magnet, now that is something that is of huge value if it's done the right way and is also something that is often done wrong. Hello and welcome to another episode of Digital Marketing Made Simple. I'm your host, Jenny Lyon, and today I'm excited to jump in to how to choose a lead magnet that's going to bring in a steady stream of leads. So these days, customers are not so quick to give up their information. And with so many different options to choose from, it can be really difficult to know where to start. Well, today's your lucky day. Not only do I have actionable resources for you, but I'm excited to walk you through the steps of how to choose a lead magnet that is going to bring in a steady stream of leads that are perfect for your business. First up is identifying your target audience. So I'm pretty sure that I have talked about this time and time again, and that you have caught on by now how important identifying your ideal audience is it's the number one step in many many forms of marketing by identifying your target audience it's really important because you need to understand who that ideal client is when you're creating a lead magnet that is going to generate a steady stream of that ideal type of client if it doesn't seem relevant to your audience or converting then you're going to hear crickets no matter how pretty your lead magnet is and by understanding your target audience's needs, pain points, and the solution that you provide, you're going to enable them to not only download a lead magnet that's going to work for them and offer them value and move them forward in their business, but it's going to convert with them on that deeper level and going to help them to convert into a paying customer. So here are a few ways that you can really dig into identifying your target audience. So grab a pen and paper and jot these down. Number one, you want to define who your ideal client avatar is. So create a really detailed profile of who that ideal client is. Include everything that you know about them. Demographics, psychographics, pain points. Write down every single thing. And if you're still struggling on, I don't know exactly what to write down, jump over to JennyLyon.com forward slash ICA. I have a ICA worksheet there that will help you dig into those important details because remember, you have to know who your ideal client is inside and out before you can even begin to market to them because if not, you're marketing to everyone, which essentially means you're marketing to no one. All right, next up is you want to conduct some market research. So you want to use surveys, interviews, and focus groups to gather information about your target audience and their needs. Next up, you want to analyze your existing customer data. So look at your current customer list, and there you're going to be able to find a lot of this information. What are their demographics? What are their buying habits? It's going to help you to understand your target audience better by looking at your existing customer data. Next up is use social media and analytics tools. 
So social media and analytic tools are amazing for tracking the behavior and interests of your target audience. So inside all of your social media platforms, you'll see sections where you can check out the insights for all of your posts. And you can dig into analytics like your Google Analytics to really dial in even deeper. And last but not least is to keep your target audience in mind. So you always want to make sure that your ideal client is in mind when you're creating any type of content, and especially when you're creating that lead magnet. You really want to consider what are they going to find valuable and useful, what is going to give them a quick win, and get them really excited about working with you in a bigger capacity. And once you clearly understand your target audience, then you can start to work on your lead magnet. Again, you want to make sure that you're creating one that addresses their specific needs and pain points, and this will really increase the chances of them engaging with your lead magnet and exchanging their contact information. Next up is to define your goals. Defining your goals is crucial in creating an effective lead magnet that's going to bring in a steady stream of leads. This is because having a really clear understanding of what you want to achieve with your lead magnet allows you to create something that is tailored with your specific objectives. So whether that's to generate leads or increase brand awareness, boost sales, or even to build your email list, you want to make sure that you have that clear goal in mind. So for example, say that your goal is to generate leads. Your lead magnet should be designed to entice potential customers to provide their contact information in exchange for something of value. And on the other hand, if your goal is to increase brand awareness, your lead magnet should be designed to introduce your business to a wider audience. So again, really important to be specific and measurable when defining your goals. This will really help you track your progress and then you can make adjustments as needed. And as you're building out goals, I do have a goal check-in sheet that you can grab at jennylioncom forward slash goal check-in. And it's going to help you take an even closer look at what those goals are and what you need to do to make them achievable. Because sometimes your business goals might be long-term, other times it might be something that you're gonna be doing today or this week or in the next few months. So in that workbook, you're gonna be able to really define and refine your goals to make sure that you're able to achieve them this year. Next up is researching your competition. So researching your competition is an important part of creating a lead magnet that's going to generate the types of leads that you really need in your business. And by looking at what other businesses in your industry are offering as lead magnets and how they promote them, you can really gain some valuable insight that's going to help you create a lead magnet that stands out from your competition. So here's a few ways that you can research your competition. So again, grab that paper and pen. First off, visit and analyze their website. Look at what lead magnets they're offering on their website and then check out how they're promoting them and where they're promoting them. Then jump over to their social media profiles. Again, look at what lead magnets they're promoting there and how are they engaging with their audience. Third, sign up for their email list. Sign up, see what lead magnets they're offering, how they're promoting them, what you receive when you sign up. Look at what that overall nurture sequence looks like. And last but not least, look at online reviews and customer feedback. By looking at those reviews and feedback, you're gonna be able to see what people are saying about your competitor and their lead magnets. And by researching your competition, you can really learn what lead magnets are already out there and what gaps exist that you can fill with your lead magnet. This will really help you to create a unique lead magnet that's going to stand out from the competition. Next up is to choose an appropriate format. So when choosing an appropriate format for your lead magnet, it's a really important step because you've got to figure out, are you going to promote an ebook or maybe a checklist? You know, are templates and workbooks the vibe of your audience? Or is your audience going to be more interested in a webinar? You know, what is it that they're interested in? Each format has its advantages and disadvantages, so your chosen format will really depend on your audience and your goals. 
So for example, if your goal is to generate leads again and your target audience is learning or interested in learning about a specific topic, then an ebook would probably be a really great format. Ebooks are really easy to create, they can be downloaded and read offline, and they provide really valuable content. On the other hand, if your goal is to boost sales and your target audience is interested in a specific product or service, then a webinar was gonna definitely be the best format for you. Webinars allow you to demonstrate your product or service and you can provide live Q&A sessions. So it's really important that you choose a format that's appropriate for your audience and your goals that's really gonna make it easy for them to consume the lead magnet and take action immediately. And by choosing an appropriate format, you're going to be able to create a lead magnet that is more likely to be engaged with and shared. So if you're still struggling, I'm not quite sure, you know, what type of core lead magnet I want to create, and you're really having trouble building that email list, then you definitely will want to jump over to JennyLyon.com forward slash lead magnet and download the workbook that is going to walk you through the steps of setting up your core lead magnet and really figuring out exactly what type of lead magnet is going to convert for your ideal audience and cement your future success. Next step is it has to be valuable. So how often have you downloaded something and then never looked at it again? I mean, I am sure that a majority of you are probably raising your hands right now. So you don't want to get caught in the inbox archive, right? Or I'm saving this for later folder. If your lead magnet is something of real value, then your target audience is looking to solve a problem or looking to you to provide a solution that they are in need of now. So there are many ways to make a lead magnet valuable. So again, jot these ones down. First off, your lead magnet should solve a problem, right? A lead magnet that solves a problem or addresses a pain point that your target audience is experiencing is going to be highly valuable to them. You wanna provide a solution. So a lead magnet that provides a solution to a problem or addresses a need that your target audience, that's also going to be highly valuable to them. Saving them time and effort, right? If you can save your ideal client avatar time and effort by providing them with some sort of a shortcut or a tool that makes their life easier, a task easier, that is going to be highly valuable to them. Teaching new information. So lead magnets that are teaching opportunities, they're going to offer insights that your target audience is really interested in learning about. Again, highly valuable. And last but not least is entertaining because who doesn't love to be entertained, right? And an engaging and entertaining lead magnet will not only be valuable, but it'll be entertaining. And depending on your target audience and their goals, that can definitely move the needle when it comes to bringing in a steady stream of leads. It's also really important that the lead magnet is relevant and useful to your target audience today and that it provides a clear and immediate benefit to them. And by making your lead magnet valuable, you'll be able to generate that steady stream of leads by providing something that is definitely worth exchanging their contact information for, which is going to get them exploring your services and your offerings. Next step is to optimize for conversion. So once you have your lead magnet up and running, you wanna make sure that you're optimizing it for the most conversions possible. You will stop leaving money on the table. Repeat that after me. Today is the day that you will stop leaving money on the table. The ability to increase the chances of people sharing or signing up for your lead magnet is going to really increase your revenue stream possibility. So this is going to help you generate that steady stream of leads that you need coming into your business at all times. So here's a few pro tips that you might want to jot down. When it comes to your lead magnet, make it easy to find. Place it prominent and make sure that your calls to action are very clear, um, front and center on your website, on your social media channels, anywhere that you can put it. Keep the sign up form short and simple. Only collect the most essential information that you need from your leads and avoid asking for anything 
unnecessary. So at the very most, name, email address. Make sure that you're using a very clear and compelling headline. You want your headline to explain the benefits of your lead magnet and entice people to sign up. And you need your copy to be very persuasive. It needs to explain the benefits of your lead magnet and why people absolutely need it. And make sure that the overall design is simple and clear. You want to make it really easy for people to not only find and sign up for your lead magnet, but to understand what the lead magnet is about. And then last but not least is you need to test it and refine it. So you want to test different lead magnets to see which perform best. I do this on my own website where I have a handful of different social media lead magnets. And every year I go through them to see which ones are most popular. Those ones I refine, I update, I make them even better, I optimize them. The ones that, eh, not so great, it's time to retire those. I always want to test and refine to make sure that I am offering my audience the most value that I possibly can. Next up is testing and refining. So I often wonder what happened in the world of marketing before A-B split testing, right? I suspect that scaling and learning buyers' interests probably took a lot longer than it does today. By testing and refining your lead magnet, it's really that important step to creating a lead magnet and finding one that works. So this does mean testing different lead magnets, seeing which one performs best, and then continually refining and optimizing that lead magnet for better results. So as with most things in marketing, testing equals scaling. So here's a few pro tips for you to jot down. So A-B testing is where you test different versions of your lead magnet, such as different headlines, designs, or even offers to see which one is gonna perform the best. And then you wanna analyze the data. You wanna look at all of the data you can glean about your lead magnet, such as signup rates, conversion rates, and engagement to see what's working and what's not working. And of course, you always wanna to listen to feedback. You know, you can ask for feedback from your leads and your customers, and then take their suggestions into account when you refine your lead magnet. And again, it's constantly updating and optimizing, right? You wanna refine and optimize. Make changes and improvements to your lead magnet based on the data and the feedback that you receive, and then continue to test and refine until you really achieve those desired results. And this is really going to help you create a lead magnet that is much more effective at generating leads and achieving your desired results. This will help you always have that steady stream of leads that you really do want coming into your business at all times. All right, last but not least is promotion. So once you have that lead magnet up and running, it's ready to launch it out into the world. It's really important to promote it through various channels to reach your target audience and generate the leads. So you definitely want to put some thought into it. You know, you don't want to just add it to your link tree or your social media profile. You really do need a whole content river focus on getting that word out. So I see this a lot with clients where we will work with them to create a beautiful lead magnet or we'll help them, you know, refine, we'll audit and optimize their current lead magnet. And then that's it. That's as far as they want to go. And it's really the marketing part is where we start to see the leads. You can have an amazing lead magnet front and center on your website, on your social media. You can have it everywhere. But if people aren't finding it, then you're not going to find the results that you're looking for. So once you have that lead magnet in place, you really do need to market it and promote it on a regular basis so that you can start to see those leads coming in and nurturing them and through to conversion. So here's a few ways that you can promote. Again, jot them down. Email marketing, right? Promote your lead magnet to your existing email list by sending them out a simple email and let them know, hey, I have this amazing lead magnet for you. Even better if your list is segmented so that you're only sending it to people that would be really, really interested in this free lead magnet. Social media, right? Promote your lead magnet on social media by creating posts and stories, ads, campaigns, everything that you possibly can that feature your lead magnet front and center and its benefits. 
paid advertising. Paid advertising is like, it's like the sprint of marketing, right? You can use paid advertising to reach a wider audience and promote your lead magnet through platforms like Google, Facebook, Instagram, but you can start reaching people today. So it is really like the sprint of marketing. If you wanna start seeing leads come into your business today, look at paid advertising. Influencer marketing, this is huge. I do this with a lot of clients where we partner with influencers in their industry and have them promote their lead magnet to their audience. So we always partner with people who are non-competitive but that have the same ideal client. So it works out really, really well. Content marketing, you wanna make sure that you're creating content that's related to your lead magnet and then promote it through your website, your social media channels, your email marketing, your podcast, your YouTube videos, anywhere that you can promote it. And last but not least, networking, right? You could share your lead magnet with your network and ask them to share it with their network. But by promoting your lead magnet through various channels, it's really going to help you reach a much wider audience and generate that steady stream of leads that you want coming in at all times. So you start this snowball effect. And basically creating a lead magnet is an essential strategy for any business that wants to grow its customer base. Okay, so here's your action steps for this week. So again, you'll either wanna jot these down or you can jump over to the website at jennylion.com forward slash 135 and you'll see the action steps there as well as in the show notes. So first up, identify that target audience, understand the needs and pain points of your target audience and what solutions they are looking for. Define those goals, decide what you want to achieve and you know, write those down. What do you want to achieve with the lead magnet, whether it's to increase brand awareness, generate leads or boost sales. Research your competition. Take a few minutes, you know, take an hour. Sit down and look at what other businesses in your industry are offering as lead magnets and how they are promoting them. And choose an appropriate format. So lead magnets come in all shapes and sizes. Everything from ebooks, webinars, checklists, templates, workbooks. And you want to choose one that's going to be really appropriate for your audience and your goals. But make sure it's valuable. Make sure that what you're offering is something of real value, something that your ideal audience is going to be really excited to receive, so much so that when they get it, they should say, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I can't believe she gave this away for free. This actually moved me forward in my business. And then optimize it for conversion. Make sure that it's easy to find, it's easy to sign up for, and make sure that sign up form is short and simple and always test and refine. So make sure to test different types of lead magnets to see what's gonna work best for your audience. Retire ones that don't work and really optimize the ones that are bringing the leads in. And of course, once you have that lead magnet, promote it. Promote it everywhere that you can possibly think of. Email, social media, paid advertising, blogs, podcasts, you name it, wherever you can promote it, promote it. And of course, if you have any questions at all about how to choose a lead magnet, build a lead magnet, you know, promote a lead magnet, please reach out. I'm always happy to jump on a call with you to kind of see where you're at right now in your journey and how we could potentially develop strategies that are going to bring your ideal client to you. So no more aimless searching for clients, just consistent, fulfilling opportunities to do what you love. So of course, you can always schedule a call at jennylioncom forward slash chat. Okay, well, that's what I have for you today on this episode of Digital Marketing Made Simple. I would love to hear about how choosing and building and promoting your lead magnet is going. So please reach out. I would love to hear where you're at in your journey so far. And if you like what you hear on the podcast, please consider rating and reviewing our show. Um, wherever you listen, you should be able to scroll to tap to rate with five stars and even write a review. We would absolutely love to hear what you what you're enjoying, what you're enjoying learning about so we can create more content like that for you. And if you haven't unsubscribed already, please do so as we add content every week and we want to make sure that you don't miss out. All right. Well, that's what I have for you this week. 
I'll see you next time on another episode of Digital Marketing Made Simple. See you soon.